Yo, what's going on Airsofters? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my Airsoft gear, all of it. And I'm going to try and remember most of it off the top of my head. But otherwise, um, I'm just going to see where I can find the name off the site I got it from. Otherwise, yeah, we'll see. But let's get into this. Alright, so basically the first thing I'm going to go off of is my uh, plate carrier. As you guys can see. Um, this is the Condor gunner plate carrier that I got off of evic.com and I forgot how much it was so if you guys want to go check you can it's the condor gunner plate carrier and I do run dummy plates in there forgot what size and also for pouches what I got on here I have this like knockoff fast mag um, for M4 and I got it off of Amazon so and it's really like a knockoff it's like way bigger than I expected it's like really wide so I mean I was trying to save money at the time so I just got just an extra pouch or mag, fast mag, uh, because I needed more mags to carry on me on the field because I run out because I run mid caps. Um, and for the front right here, these uh, pouches. This is the Blue Force Speed pouches that I also got off of Amazon. A lot of my stuff I get off of Amazon and Evic. If you guys are wondering. Um, also, I just got a few patches there. And on this side, I don't run anything. I used to run my. Uh, um, what were they? I pistol mag pouches on here, but I just moved them to my uh, belt. And on the back, I have a hydration carrier, and it would go in here, but I don't really run um, a hydration carrier on me, like actual uh, pouch for the water, because I'm not really out on the field that long. And um, that's pretty much it for this. This one's actually really useful. I forgot what it was called, though. So, we'll have to see. I have to look after the video. Um, next, moving on, we're going to go to my belt. And we got this bad boy right here. I'm going to try and do this the best I can, so please just stay with me here. <laughs> this is a, for a Glock 19. It's a Serpa holster, um, and I use it for my ISSC M22 um, gas pistol. And on the back here, I have a dump pouch, which everyone should have because... These are pretty good. Um, and on this side, I run my pistol mag pouches. And I got these off Amazon. I just needed uh, a pouch to hold my mags. So I just went with any. I didn't really... Because I did go with tan because they were going to be on my plate carrier. But I ended up just moving it to my belt. So nothing really matches except for the dump pouch. Um, so yeah. I'm just kind of... I'm still working. It's a work in progress for my belt. And also for my plate carrier. So... It'll eventually get better, but this is what I'm running for now. Pretty simple, basic stuff. Nothing too crazy. And if you guys are wondering what I wear for, like, camo and whatnot, as you can see in my past videos, I wear a multicam. Um, I forgot what brand they were, but they're multicam pants with uh, built-in knee pads. I forgot what brand they were. So, um, And I also run a black long-sleeve shirt uh, that I just got from Walmart. I just wanted something cheap just to wear. I usually did wear the top that goes with the multicam pants, but... It got too small on me, so I just wear the black long sleeve. And plus, I, I think the black long sleeve uh, shirt feels so much better. I, it's more breathable, and I feel so much faster in it. So, let's get on with the helmet. So, with the helmet, uh, we have... I just actually have my mechanics gloves in here. This is what I run for hand protection. Um, I wear, <clears throat> for goggles, eye protection. I wear the Valken Sierra goggles, if you guys are wondering. Has a nice little clip in the back to take it off on and on easy i usually wear them over my mesh mask like the nose piece because if i were to just put it against my face without putting it over it would start fogging up but once i let like the nose piece rest on my mesh mask um it actually stops the fogging the the whole gameplay that i'm in like the whole day that i'm playing airsoft zero fog just because i'm resting just the nose piece on the mesh mask which uh, it's a little weird, but it works. So if you guys are having fogging problems, that might work for you. If you're running goggles, just place them over your mesh mask instead of directly onto your face. Um, that could be a solution. I'm not sure, but that's what I do. Um, I'm doing the best I can to describe a lot of these things. So uh, it's been a while. I had a lot of this stuff when I was in like middle school, and I'm graduated now. And I started seriously getting into airsoft uh the year 2019 i started really getting into it then 
Otherwise, I used to play like lightly back back in middle school, my freshman year. I did a, a few airsoft games here and there, but I wasn't like seriously into it. Now I'm like really into it now. I usually go like every weekend, but I can't right now because my field's closed down. Um, so for my mesh mask, I just use a green one. And I'll show you what those are for later. Um, I got this off of Evic. You can find them pretty cheap anywhere, actually. They're really nice. Everyone should have one. Unless you just want to get your teeth shot out. I run that Emerson Bump Helmet. And this thing is one of my favorite helmets. Because I usually don't clip it in. I usually just use the, the Titan knob back here. I don't really know what that's called. Um, and also, for here, I have a GoPro NVG mount. Or... It's just, it goes into the NVG mount, so, and it's for the GoPro, and I just run the GoPro Hero 3 plus silver case on here, and that is about it for this head setup, I just got a few patches on there, if you guys are wondering. Oh, this is the brand of my hydration carrier, because I think that came with it. Yeah, Spanker Tactical Series, <laughs> I, think that, 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 I think that's what it was called. I'm pretty sure. Not definite. But I know this patch came with it when I got it. Um, and so back to the mesh mask, if you guys are wondering. These clips usually come with any helmet. They're supposed to. I'm pretty sure. And all I do is I put zip ties around them. And it makes it easier for me to take it on and off the helmet when I'm wearing it. So if I were to put it on now, I can easily just clip it on the other side. And then I just run my goggles right over. And this is usually set up a little better. But this is usually what I do. I just run it like this. If you guys are wondering. Alright, so I'm going to move to my uh, gas pistols now. You guys are probably seeing them from different videos. I only have two. And I'm just going to show you again. So the first one I got, they aren't loaded. Chamber's clear. So we're all good. It's on safety. Um, this is the ISSC M22. And it's all stock. I didn't do anything to it. Um, it is a pretty good, pretty good gun. I'd say it's. Uh, I had this for so many years and it's still working. But uh, I had to get a new outer barrel because the. I'll show you which part broke. There is a part on here, right there. This part is a part of the outer barrel. That whole metal piece chipped. And I had to get a new one. I guess that's like prone to happen. I've seen it, uh, that happen to a bunch of other people. But I had to buy a new outer barrel. That was like the only problem. Um, but yeah, I've dropped this in dirt, water, snow, anything. And it's still working. Like, But um, one thing I do have problems with is the hop up now. It's not really consistent. It BBs like to go where they want. So I really only use this for really close quarters. Because then I know for sure I'm going to hit them. This is one of my main pistols that I do use uh, out on the field. Other than my other one. But I do have an EVIC order coming in soon. And I did get something that you guys would like to see. So just stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming around soon. Um, the package is still on its way. And it's a pretty big one. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, my second pistol is my... Uh, uh, if you guys, oh yeah, if you guys were wondering what brand that was, my ISSC M22, that is uh, Wii Tech or Wii, I'm pretty sure it's Wii, and uh, my 1911 here is um, the KWA, and it's clear. If you guys are wondering the uh, mag capacity on both these uh, pistols, the ISSC holds about 24 rounds, I think, with the mags that I bought. I bought mags off of Amazon, and um, these mags for the 1911. Hold about 19, I think. And they are double stacked. Um, and this thing's full metal. I got this off of Evic. I bought both my BS yes, pistols off of Evic. So, and they're both reliable. This one, this pistol is most accurate out of my pistols. But I kind of like using the Glock styled pistols, the 1911s. But yeah, this one's okay. I, w I would suggest using this one for those who want really good accuracy. But. Yeah, these are just my two gas pistols. So if you guys are trying to replicate anything that I'm doing here, just please message down below, put a comment what you really do want to know, and then I'm, uh, I'll get back to you on that one. 
I use a uh, premium Elite Force 0.28 gram BBs for my uh, my rifles. Actually, for my SMG, I use 0.25s, and for my pistols, I use 0.25s. So that's usually what I use. But yeah, for my main primary, I run 0.28s because they are just these things slam. These things are so good. I don't know why they work perfectly every single time. I use the uh, KWA K120s M4 mags. They hold 120 rounds. I'll show you what they look like right here. There they are. They are pretty slick. They feed every single round. They never miss a round when I'm shooting. They work perfect every single shot. So if you guys are wondering a really reliable mag and you're looking for new mags, um, this is one way to go if you're running an M4 style platform. Moving on to my actual primary. This is my Crytac Trident SBR Mark II. I think that's how it goes, but that is what it's called. Um, so basically I'll show you the attachments I got on it. And I did not do anything internally. I tried to put a new inner barrel that did not go successfully. I had to send that back. Uh, I broke both the O-rings trying to put it in. And every time I got the inner barrel in, when I'd shoot the BBs, they just roll out the barrel, which didn't make sense. And I know the bucking was perfectly fine. And I don't know the, about the hop up. Everything was in completely like how it's supposed to be when I put it in. But some reason, each BB would just kind of like just fall out of the barrel, which is really messed up. So I'll start from the muzzle all the way down to the buttstock. So I have a metal flash hider on here. Um, I don't know where this came from. It came from one of my brother's guns. And I just took it off because my last one was plastic and it broke because I did drop it. And um, moving on to the top, I run my run cam mount on there. It comes with the Airsoft run cam too. And on the other side, I run a GoPro mount, which is my selfie camera, which captures me when I'm playing. And onto the key mod rail, I run uh, rubberized grips on each side, for extra grippage. And on the bottom here, I run the BCM Gunfighter Vertical Grip Mod 3. So this thing works fantastically. And on top for my optic, I run the Avengers Micro T1 Reflex Sight. And this is perfect for outdoor use in bright sunny days. It's actually really good. Um, uh, any other things I got in here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much stock. Everything's stock. I run, I do run an 11.1 .1 LiPo on here. And this thing just slams. It is, it is my favorite gun of all time, is the Crytac. So if you're looking for a really reliable gun, this is one way to go otherwise. Because, I mean, this gun is expensive. I think it's around like 400. But, no, I'd say I'd say a little, like, probably over 350, I'd say around there. I don't know. I haven't checked the price on this lately. I've had this for a long time. But, yeah, this gun, really reliable. It's all metal or aluminum alloy for the handguard. All right, moving on to my SMG. You guys have seen this in all sorts of my videos. You guys love this gun for some reason. All you guys are like purchasing one, and you guys really like the video of me showing you how to take off the amplifier, um, which I do have a tracer unit coming in. That's a little sneak peek of what I got coming in for my next video, which I'll be showing you. Um, so basically, this whole gun is stock. There's nothing on it. When I do play, I usually put my uh, Micro T1 on here, on my other gun, but... I think I might just stick with running the iron sights. There's really nothing to go over on this gun. It's all stock. I run MP5 mags. I have three of them. I have to try and find more because they these are I think these are like 90 round mag capacity in these things. Um, otherwise, yeah, this whole gun is stock. There's really nothing to go over it. It's just the King Arms, uh, nine um, the King Arms PDW nine millimeter SBR. If you guys are wondering so I have all other videos on this gun and I'm pretty sure that is all my gear that I have um, other than the stuff that I got coming in soon so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one and if you guys do have any questions comment down below make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so see you guys in the next video peace out